the parsha, how Sarah Mashkim, he shares with Paro that there was a person in prison with him who interpreted his dreams, his dream and the dream of the Tsar Ophim, the baker. And the way he depicts Yosef in the most denigrating, the most pejorative way, Bishomi Tonu, Nar Ivri, Ever the Saratabochim. So Rashi explains, what did he say? How did he depict him? Nar Shotev Eroi Lugdudo. He's an unstable person, therefore he's not worthy for ascent. Ivri, Afilu Shoneno Eno Makir. He doesn't even understand our language. Evid, Uchsiv Bin Nuse Mitzrayim. He's a slave, he comes from slaves, and it's written in the protocols of Egypt. Shin Evid Molech. King can never, a uh, slave can never be in a position of royalty. Will a big day saw him, and he cannot wear the attire of ministers. So Rashi cites Chazal when he said, "Nar Eved Ivri, Arurim Harushoyim, Cursed of the evil, She Tovosim Shlemo, that even when they do good, they're not able to do good in a complete way." Maskiro Beloshim Izoyim. When he refers to him, it's the most denigrating, disgraceful way. So the obvious question is, the Saramashkim was in prison together with Yosef. Yosef interpreted his dreams, and there was a debt of gratitude. And Yosef believed that after the Saramashkim, the wine steward, is going to be reinstated, as he requested, he'll be mentioned, he'll be, he'll be able to leave this prison. His dungeon, and here, as a result of, as it says, Vayishkochei, we forgot about him. He spent another two years in the dungeon. The Masara Mashkim understood Yossi's potential. He was he was the equivalent of the leading warden in the prison. He was a man who was gifted. Yosef, somebody who never met such a person with these qualities and abilities. If Yosef now comes out of prison, what do you think he's going to do to Sara Mashkim? will have him executed. Because there's no question, if he comes in and Paro recognizes, appreciates his value, his life is over. So if just for the sake of self-preservation, he has to denigrate him and do whatever he can to prevent him from rising to power. So why does why do Chazal tell us, I rule him, I show him, curse him evil, that even when they do something good, they can't do it in a complete way. Because he mentions and he depicts Yosef in the most disgraceful way to save his life. So how do we understand this? Factually, Yosef did not take revenge. Why not? Yosef, there's no question, he understood that anything that happens to him in his life, it's for a reason. And if he spent another two years in prison, which he was supposed should have been released, it's because he failed. So he attributes his predicament to himself, not to anyone else. The other person may have been a shaliach, may have been an agent, as the Chazal tells, have a But why does it happen? It happened because it was his own personal failing. So now, a tzaddik, when he processes something, because he believes in God and nothing is coincidental, it happened because it's attributed to the person himself. It's unrelated to the external factor. But a Russia, how does a Russia live his life? There is no God. And everything is what? It's survival of the fittest. It's me and it's you. So if you failed me, I have a claim against you. Therefore, I will do whatever I can to destroy you. So I rule him to show him, a person who lives his life as a Russia. the reason why he sees it in the context that it's self-preservation, it's only because everything is attributed to himself. Whatever happens in his life, it's unrelated because it was meant to be this way. So therefore, how does he take Yosef? unstable, a slave, doesn't speak our language, and all these negative terms to hold him back. But if he would have been a tzaddik, and he would see that everything in life happens because that's the way it's meant to be, and it's attributed to each person's failing, he underst would have understood that Yosef wouldn't have taken revenge. And because he didn't re realize and understand that, that only confirms that he's a Russia, and he only lives his life based on the way he sees it himself.